everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a pinch pot and you can design your own shaped base. When you get your clay, you'll get a thin slab like this and you'll want to fold it and start to press it flat with your palm. And you want to think of a very simple shape like a circle, a square, a rectangle, triangle, a heart that you want to use for your base. Once you've gotten it flat, it should be about the thickness of your pinky. You can use water to smooth out any lumps and you can use a tool to carve in your shape. Keep any scraps that you have. When you cut the clay, you get that rough edge, which feels soft right now, but remember when the clay is dry, it's going to be hard and sharp. So just by dipping your finger in the water and rubbing, you can smooth that out. Too much water is a bad thing, so try to use it sparingly. On the bottom of the base, you'll wanna flip it over and with one of your clay pencils, you should write your name and your class code. Be sure to write legibly. After that, you can slide these materials out of your way and you're gonna start rolling out your coils. You could roll all the coils out ahead of time if you'd like. You want to kind of shape it into that long cylinder shape to start with and then roll out your clay to get those long coils. I'm going to pause the video and get my coils rolled out. Once you get your coils, you can begin to start slipping and scoring. Start to lay your coil on the base and pressing it and winding as you go. We're going to be smoothing the inside out, but the outside you can decide if you want to leave it smooth or if you want it to have the coil design on the outside. So right now you can see these are what the coil designs look like but the inside we're gonna smooth. And so you wanna take a tool and I'll try to hold it at an angle so you can see. You wanna press down and try to blend all of that clay and then you can rub it smooth. So the inside should look like that going all the way around. Each time you add a new coil layer, you need to smooth that out and just keep working around. Your goal is to make your coil pot at least four coils tall. If you finish that ahead of schedule, you can decorate the inside of the coil pot and you might have time to take some extra clay, cut out a lid. I'll show you a finished one. So here's a heart shaped pot. There's a design in the inside. You can see the inside is smoothed. The outside has the coil design. This one is four coils tall and it has a lid. You'll want to make sure to label the lid with your name and code and you can slip and score on a little knob as well. You don't want to put it on the drying cart together though because the lid is going to slump and sink in. So put them side by side so they can dry. Make sure you clean up your spot when you're done.